All right, so for this next step, you're gonna to need to have a slash GraphQL account. So if you don't have a slash GraphQL account, pause this video, go down to the description, and we'll have a link and step-by-step -step instructions on how exactly to get your account set up. All right, so now that you have your account set up, now we can actually get started into deploying a backend. So you can log in and you'll see this big pink button. Click on it and enter the name for your backend. And then create your backend and we'll wait for this to launch. All right, now that your backend is live, click on the big pink create your schema button. All right, so we're actually gonna do this step by step. So we're gonna create the schema. We're gonna start off with two basic types. We're gonna start off with user type and a task type. So right now these types are empty. Let's go ahead and add some fields into them. All right, so we've added three fields into the user. We have a username field, a name field, and a tasks field. So you can see that each field has a name and a type. Uh, you can also see that some types can be arrays and you'll see that some types have these exclamation marks after them. So this means that this type is non-nullable, which means that every user has to have a username. Okay, now we'll do the same thing to task. All right, so we've added an ID, a title, completed, and a user. So one thing you'll notice is that we have an ID field here of the type ID. If you add this field, dgraph is smart enough to automatically fill this with the internal ID, right? But let's say we don't want to use the internal ID. Let's say we want to use, in the case of user, the username is ID. Well, we can add an add ID directive and that's it, we're good to go. So now username, is the ID field of user. All right, so there is one other thing that we should do. Uh, we want to tell dgraph that both this tasks field and this user field are two sides of the same relationship, All right? So for that, we're gonna add a has inverse directive and the field will be tasks. So this takes the field and the other type, so because we're putting this on the user field, which are pointing it at the tasks field of the user. All right, now that you've done that, we've done everything we need to do in the schema. Click on the big pink update schema button at the bottom. You should get a success message and we're good to go. Now we can hop into the React app and connect it to our database.